Hi all, welcome to Dark Age of Camelot. This is Lovely and today I'm doing a tutorial on how to find and save your hotbars. Now the reason that you would want to save your hotbars is because they actually reside on the computer that you created them on, not the broadsword servers. What that means is if you decided to go play Dark Age on another computer, you would have to recreate your hotbars on that computer. There could also be a situation where we have a patch and there could be a forced respec for a certain class. When that happens and you log into the game, all your hotbars will be all funky looking. They'll have question marks and random icons all over them because your, your particular class has had its skills reset to one. You would have to go retrain your tune and then recreate your hotbars. If you have a copy made, you can just drop those hotbars back in and with some minor tweaks that will accommodate the new respec, you can go on about your gameplay. So we're going to be working directly on the desktop today rather than doing anything inside of the game and we'll go ahead and get started. I'm just going to go ahead and minimize this. So what you want to do is you want to create a place to put your INI files or your hotbars. So we need to create a folder. You can call this folder anything at all that makes sense to you. Uh, I would highly recommend putting a date on it. Um, sometimes you have more than one any folder and if you keep it dated you'll know which was your most recent one. So I'm going to go ahead and take you down the path towards your hot files. Uh, I'm doing this on a computer with Windows 8. The path that I'm showing you is for Windows 7 and 8 and Vista. I have a little typed up thing that I'll show you when we're all done as to where you can find these files in Windows XP. So here we are, we're going to go into the C drive. From the C drive, you're going to go to Users. From Users, you're going to select your username. From there, we're going to go to App Data, then to Roaming then to Electronic Arts, Dark Age of Camelot, LOTM or Labyrinth of the Minotaur, and there you have it. These are all the character files for all the realms that you play as well as all the accounts you play. So it doesn't matter which account you're looking for, if you grab them all, you'll have all of them. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and select all and that's going to copy all my any files regardless of realm or account. Then right click copy. Make sure you hit copy not cut. You don't want to remove them. So we're going to go copy then open up the folder that you just created. Right click paste and boom. There you have it. Those are all your hot bars for all your tunes. And then you can close that, copy it wherever you want to. If you're going to put it onto a flash drive to take to another computer, just grab that folder. Now to put your hot bars back into the game, you would just do the exact same thing, but your source would be this folder as opposed to your game. Now you can't just take this folder and drop it in. You have to actually open the folder and select the individual files. So again, we're going to select all. We're going to copy those files and then we're going to take that same path to put them into the game. That would be to your C drive, users, your username, app data, Roaming, EA, Dark Age of Camelot, Labyrinth of the Minotaur, and there you go. Now if you're putting these into a brand new computer that's never uh, you've never logged in with, this area will be all blank. 
and you're just going to go right click and paste. If you're uh, wanting to write over hot bars that are already there, uh, this is where you would do the replace. Okay, so I'm not going to do either of those. It's it's pretty straightforward, pretty obvious. So I'm just going to close out of this, and I'm going to go ahead and show you the path for Windows XP. So right here we have the path that we just took and down below here's the path that you would take if you were using Windows XP. So you'd go to your C Drive, Documents and Settings, again your username, App Data, Electronic Arts, and Dark Age of Camelot. So there you go, easy peasy. I'm going to go ahead and close this and that's the end of the tutorial on how to find and copy your hotbars. I am going to pop one more thing up on the screen because I think it's something everybody needs to know and that is that Dark Age of Camelot is once again doing a newsletter and if you go to the Camelot Herald or you copy and paste my link here, I'm not sure if you can actually yeah, you should be able to copy and paste it. You can get onto the Herald and be sure and subscribe to the newsletter. That way you'll be kept up to date for everything that's going on in the game. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching the video and thank you for playing Dark Age of Camelot.